Live from the Philadelphia area, it's Virginia at the number one seed, Villanova. What should be an exciting... He's in good backcourt play, so I expect a good one. Cameron Taylor against Christina Dalsey, and Villanova has it first. They run a motion offense. One has taken off scoring. Villanova is without Maddie Weber, who was injured. Olsen with a deep three. And Pavilion filling up as Villanova averages about 65 points per game. That's a three from Bella Runyon. To the Sweet 16, losing to Miami, who was supposed to be a number one seed in this tournament. But Katie Meyer, the head coach, retired on Thursday. A drive to the basket. Way home. And bringing Sam Brunel in as a transfer from Notre Dame has really helped as well. That's Lucy Olsen. Yeah, good job with use of the f against Florida State, North Carolina, Louisville, and Virginia Tech. That win against the Hokies had the most fans ever to dribble. She's from Herndon, Virginia, which is the hometown of former Villanova legend Scotty Reynolds. Could have fouled a three-point shot, so it looks like old shooter, one of the best players in the country, an AP honorable. Patty Segris moved on. And it's been Lucy Olsen who's picked up the slack in a big way. Maddie C, Big East Player of the Year. And Lucy Olsen has filled in quite admirably, yeah. Steve. And she knocked it off the bench for Wildcats. Burks is usually a wing player. has been forced to play a little bit more inside. She's held up well the last two nights. Lucy Olsen can handle the All-American. Virginia has it back here. Paris Clark started her career at Arizona. There's a three. That's good. Olsen trying to climb the ladder. But there is Alexia Smith, the senior guard, to the rack. Virginia play can get you back into the game. For six straight for the With the winner moving on to play Thursday in the quarters. Christina Dalsey to find Lucy Olsen. Good job by Olsen moving without the way around that time. What a dime dropped off by the center. There is a fast move by Paris first year Cavalier who shoots her free throws at 76, who is ranked number 21 according to Hoop Girls ESPN. Shot clock and forcing up some shots. Making Villanova have to panic a little bit. There's a high low move and an easy buck. Dalsey with a signature offensive rebound. Pull up by Lucy Olsen. That was really well defended. Your team with the advantage. Inside to go with more size, Taylor Lauterbach. And she does a good job just pinning McCurry on eyes. The Kansas State transfer, native of Wisconsin, with an easy mismatch. That's Bryn McCurry this year. Deep in the shot clock again for Nova. Zanai Jones off the glass. And Jones is able to. It's Zanai Jones runs into a double. Here's Bryn McCurry. A really good play by their most ever in program history. Tymora Johnson drops it off there for Cameron Taylor. Coach Mox told us last night, Cam Taylor has worked extraordinarily hard to get back into the game and improve her game. Threes at Penn State, follows her miss. Here's Bryn McCurry. Why not? She a is a fabulous eraser, number 10 in white. Lucy Olsen with a monster three. As Christina Dalsey and Bella Runyon play catch. The drive by Runyon. Really nice finish by Runyon with the rover. And Villanova is on a 10-0 run. As Alexia Smith drills it. Everyone else has been hurting. She hit the long three, but they've done a decent job. She also spent some time on the bench. Olsen again. If she can get to where rims out. Flying for the rebound, tougher on the glass. Paris Clark had two fouls. Fourth chance is the charm. I mean, but an offensive, offensive foul. Time. Way off the mark, but Christina Dalsey. So both teams taking their chances on the offensive glass. Zanai Jones from the elbow. Christina Dalsey, Jillian Brown missed it. Sam Brunel saved it, flying out of bounds. There's Mo Johnson. So Quick steal by the Cavs. We said maybe they put on the pressure. Brunel fires a three. So five quick points for one of the signature recruits for Coach Mox. Here's a three for Jillian Brown. Short. 
Unable to finish. He beat Runyon for the first time in a long time, but unable to finish. Just two for seven shooting for Mo Johnson. I do think it actually makes it easier. I like the rule. I don't I don't think there should be a restricted area. I like the rule change. Oh, she's seven of 13 from the field, and she splits it there. That's and it. that by Maura Johnson, hometown Virginia kid, Paris Clark, the Arizona transfer underneath, get rejected by Alt Dulcy on Christina Dulcy as Paris Clark. The Hoos know how to make their free throws, Steve. And there's two right there. To deny her the ball, there's a three from Burke. Olsen skies for the rebound and the fadeaway. Yeah, Johnson didn't do a good job blocking out the shot that Coach Mox wants. There's, and you're trying to make a run. There's a bounce pass to Christina Dulcy. And Villanova once again getting every loose ball. Lucy Olsen, what a beautiful find for Bella Runyon. The Wildcats show a little. Villanova still masters the inbound. Christina Dalsey. Nice pass. That's Bryn McCurry. A bit on the road away from John Paul Jones. Villanova's had the better day. Can they play catch up? That's Alexia Smith. Fouls Olsen. The way Villanova's sharing the ball. Even though it's a lot of Lucy Olsen one-on-one, -on -one, that works too. Yeah, when you use it inside. Lauterbach to the deck, they didn't call anything. There's a screen by the big 6'7 center for Kaimora Johnson. It's gonna be Olsen. The charity stripe. And Kaimora Johnson at the line. One of the top recruits in all of women's basketball. Johnson, but they need her to score. Here's Maddie Burke. Nice ball reversal, and Burke, what she, that's what she's building over now, looking to push the ball. It's Lucy Olsen, the All-American. Oh, the Hezzy from Bella Runyon. And she's going to get a foul call. Played at Marquette for a couple years. She transferred to Penn State to play with Carolyn Keeger, who originally ran for Villanova. She can make her free throws. Yeah, now that extends it out to the biggest lead they've had at 12. As Villanova's defense has been outstanding under Denise Dillon the last two years. Alexia Smith, open highway. Yeah, that's two baskets. Madison, one of the number one seeds, lost on Thursday. Villanova turns it over. Cameron Taylor, four fouls. Look at that move. Really nice move there. She let Olsen go. ACC Rookie of the Year are the only D1 rookies averaging five assists or more. There's a feed. Cameron Taylor drives it. Yeah, it's going to be a foul on Villanova. Back as a rookie in the 2019-2020 season, Steve. Scooters in the ACC. Misses the second. Getting the players they want to shoot them to get them. So what does Virginia do here in the fourth quarter? Let's see if they have a landing. Cameron Taylor, four fouls in time. Villanova able to work it to Lucy Olsen. It's a really nice shot. Survive in advance, as they say. Villanova's definitely surviving. They're dominating. They've had a great day. Dulcy the finish. Like Christina Dulcy. Here's Mo Johnson. The put back, Cameron Taylor mm -hmm. scores. She got herself good position. Valpo and her sister last year. So the Brown sisters have been able to play each other before. There's Lucy Olsen. Mm -hmm. Villanova does such an outstanding job on based on that. Steve, Virginia came in scoring 73 points per game. Look at the scoreboard. Villanova's holding them under their average. And the three-point shooting for Villa Runyon. Her 11th game in double-figure scoring this year. As Paris Clark says, bonjour off the window. Let's see, that might be. Alexia Smith, the veteran. Good year for the ACC again. NC State's loaded. Notre Dame as well. Alexia Smith drops it. So Villanova has been super clean with the basketball in half number two. Lucy Olsen has third. And what happened there is a little finger roll that came up short. Teardrop finger roll. Jillian Brown drives it in. And C. Olsen with 10 or more field goals made in a game for the 17th time this year. Wings. Jillian Brown, the Northwestern transfer. In for Villanova has been exquisite, Steve. How deep of a run can Villanova make? And Oriole with the three first, Nick, you know, is far playing a really good team, so it'll be interesting to see how long Villanova can keep their defense together. The reverse by Lauterbach, she missed it. Then there's the whistle screen today. The defense has been spectacular. Alexia Smith. Left it really short. And Another rebound. Deep run if you win this, you're already in the quarter. You're already in the quarterfinals. Thursday night here at Villanova. Bella run Thursday in the Bears, or they get their rival, St. Joe's. It's going to be a foul on Jones. John or the other. And at this point of the year, you're just happy to play anybody. Go to Hawk Hill like they did earlier in the year. And would love to take on a Pac-12 team like Cal as well. 
You know. Seven points today. Virginia not going quietly. There she is up ahead, Mo Johnson. And just that one win with Dawn Staley back in the yeah, 80s. Don't over won those two back in the 70s. It's going to be a foul on Megan Obris for setting the screen. She's back when she was with Drexel, so she gets her first win against the Hoos. Mo Johnson with a big three from the corner. Mm -hmm. This gets her into double. Thursday in the first year of the WBIT, Villanova does it. Captures a 73 to 55, the final. A win over the Hoos. 18 assists, they make nine threes. The points in the paint are pretty even, which we also thought that would be an advantage for Virginia was not to be today. The consistency that she brings in the floor game as well. 12 of 23 from the field, and then two of six from three as well. She definitely finals, as we say, so long from Finner Pavilion for a great crew. And Steve Pannone, I'm Nick Montagna. Thank